Hi, in this video of Inkpot, we are starting externality, which is given by Hendrix for our course. Externalities is something that we've already studied in SEM4. It's just an extension of that. But we're going to revise externalities and we're going to use some Hendrix point of view to understand externalities in a deeper manner. This is the first part of Hendrix externality. We're going to be doing in the second part some examples which are given by Hendrix. So what is an externality? An externality is where one agent is directly affected by another agent's actions and the one which is not covered in prices. I'll take the example that we've been taking since semester 4. Let's suppose we have two firms. One firm is oil firm, which is upstream located, and the other firm is fishery, which is downstream located. If fishery is that because oil prices are increasing, because of an increase in oil prices, my cost has increased. This is not an externality. But if the fishery says because the oil firm, the oil refinery is polluting river and because of that pollution that they are causing in river, that because of that my cost has gone up, now this is an externality. What is the difference between this one and this one? Here this is covered by prices. This but is not covered by prices. That is why wherever one agent is directly affected by another's actions, which is not inclusive of prices, is called externality. Right? To take an example, let's suppose there's a person there's a person who has a utility function of U. So we are saying H is households. We are saying H is households and households are any number from one till H, right? And so that's why utility function of any one person out of those H people will be U is some function of X and Y. X is the private good and Y is the externality. X is the private good and Y is externality. Then what is Y? Y must be produced by a firm. Y is produced by any J firm from the two goods X and Y. And Y can actually range between 1 till M. Okay, so if I put, put it in other words, what, it is, what does it mean? So, utility function of any person A is equal to some function of A with respect to X and Y, where Y is produced by any firm, let's say 1, and the func production function of 1 is X, Y. So, the only good we have in the economy is X, and Y is just the externality. Y is just the externality. Okay, so they might be producing X, selling them X, they might be using X produced Y and Y might be an externality, right, or any other thing, alright. So, we want to prove in this, in this video, what do we want to prove, our, what is our objective, our objective is really, really simple. Our objective is one, is externality, does externality give us a Pareto efficient outcome? If not, then does it imply a market inefficiency? The answer to that, by the way, is yes, but we we'll go, we are going to prove it. Second, what does an externality lead to? What does an externality lead to? Does it increase or decrease our benefits? Does it increase or decrease our costs? What does it lead to? Right? So we want to prove this one thing and the second thing. This first thing is really, really important because you get that directly in a question. Right? So if you open your tenures, you will see a plethora of questions right from externality and inefficiency. So we are we are going ahead, right ahead and saying that externality always leads to a market failure. We want to prove it. We're going to spend the next, next few minutes on proving why does externality lead to market failure failure. We're going to twist our words, do it in a variety of forms. So this is just the first of the many methods we're going to do to prove that externality leads to market failure. For the proof, let's suppose there are two agents. One agent is one, the second agent is two. And for the people who are with me on the second form four and ha are having difficulty in understanding what I'm trying to say, I'm going to simplify it and write it for you. So your utility function of A is X, which A consumes. X is the private good, remember? some function of z which a consumes some function of a some utility function of a which a consumes so had i stopped my function right here again the people who have been with me since m4 would understand this is a quasi linear but kyunki hum yahan pe externality ki baat kar rahe hain isliye hamara function goes on further utility of a some other utility function of a with respect to the consumption of z which b does so z is the externality here right and what is this this is ub 
with so some consumption that b does of x some function that b has for his own consumption of z and some other function that b has with the consumption of z of a so this and this is my externality and just to prove the externality when zb increases and va or let's say ua also increases that implies we have positive externality you see that should make sense when b increases its consumption consumption of z by one unit agar b apni consumption z ki ek unit se badhata hai aur uski wajah se utility of a goes up it's a positive externality aur uski wajah se if utility of a goes down then it's a negative externality right then it's a negative externality what is ext what is the externality the externality externality is z we have just set our basic premise we're going to start the proof now i hope the basic premise is clear so we take the example this is our example let's break it down step by step all right so remember i just said that let this n be u1 and u2 huh so uh let's broaden the example a little further हमारे पास दो गुड्स हैं x और z जो हमने अभी देखा हमारे पास दो गुड्स हैं x और z सो यूटली फंक्शन ऑफ a इज डिफाइंड बाय x एंड z लेट्स सपोज इन द इकोनॉमी x इज द ओनली नेचुरल रिसोर्स x इज द ओनली नेचुरल रिसोर्स व्हिच मींस कि अगर मुझे z बनाना है तो मुझे z कैसे बनाना होगा x को यूज करके एंड आई लव टेकिंग दिस एग्जांपल लेट्स सपोज x इज एप्पल्स एंड z इज एप्पल जूस द ओनली वे यू कैन मेक एन एप्पल जूस द ओनली वे यू कैन मेक एन एप्पल जूस इज बाय एप्पल्स सो देयरफॉर वन यूनिट ऑफ एप्पल मींस वन यूनिट ऑफ एप्पल जूस वन यूनिट ऑफ एप्पल वन यूनिट ऑफ एप्पल मींस वन यूनिट ऑफ apple juice and because apple juice only takes apple as the raw material and let's suppose you uses no machinery whatsoever that's why the price of apple will always be equal to price of apple juice right so what is this is exactly what we are trying to state here we are saying that hamare paas let's suppose cobb douglas preferences hain agar hamare paas cobb douglas preferences hain to hamari equilibrium condition ye hai Our equilibrium condition is MRS is equal to P1 by P2. We've known that forever, right? We also know that P X is equal to P Z, which means P1 by P2 is equal to one. Which means my MRS must also be equal to one. What is my MRS? My MRS is U dash A for Z A. Why? Because if you recall from the last, from from what we spoke last time, what we spoke some minutes back, what was our U A? a u a was a function of x a plus some function u a of z a plus some function b a with respect to z b now i can't control z b so for me this is a constant for me this is a constant and this is anyways a constant so if i do del u a by del z a then what do i get this is obviously zero this one is obviously zero so i get zero plus U A dash with respect to Z A plus again zero because this is a constant is equal to the M R S and we have already proven that M R S is equal to one right here we have already proven that M R S is equal to one so just recall why is M R S equal to one because price of apple is equal to price of apple juice which is why I get this condition which can which can be rewritten as U A dash of Z A is equal to one. U A dash of Z A is equal to one. What what does it imply? What does it mean? Its का मतलब क्या है? Its का मतलब ये है कि जो हमारा private marginal benefit है हर एक good का that is equal to marginal cost. But we know that M U this actually means M U X upon M U Y is equal to P one by P two now. So जो मेरा private marginal benefit है, you know, so Hendrix is just mincing words. When you say private marginal benefit, it is same as private marginal utility. Benefit and utility are exactly the same thing. Private वो तब तक है जब तक मुझे अपने गुड का पता है अगर मैं सोसाइटी के बारे में सोचने लगूंगी तो वो सोशल हो जाएगा सो यू डोंट हैव टू गेट केयर फ्रॉम द वर्ड्स द वर्ड्स आर एग्जैक्टली द सेम जस्ट रिप्लेस द वर्ड्स सो मार्जिनल यूटिलिटी ऑफ एक्स अपॉन मार्जिनल यूटिलिटी वाई इज इक्वल टू पी वन बाई पी टू सो मेरा जो बेनिफिट है उसका मार्जिनल बेनिफिट इज इक्वल टू माई मार्जिनल कॉस्ट प्लेन एंड सिंपल राइट 
and why are we doing subject to this this condition because this is our simple box condition now you remember the edgeworth box the whole thing the number of apples a consumes the number of apples b consumes the number of apple juice a consumes the number of apple juice b consumes should be equal to the entire number of apples available in the economy either with a or with b right we we've, we've understood that now let's move on so how do we achieve pareto optimality you see the the idea here is we want to i'm i'm reiterating myself we want to make sure that we understand that when there is externality we will never ever get to pareto optimality so we have already proven that agar hum log usko uh, differentiate karte hain apne ua ko aur ub ko to hamare paas kya aata hai hamare paas aata hai ua dash za is equal to 1 and ua dash of za ua ub dash sorry of za b is equal to 1 so now we want to prove what is the point of pareto optimality so going a step further अगर हमारे वो दोनों पॉइंट्स को कर रहे होंगे इसका मतलब जहाँ पे हमारे पास एक्सरसाइटी थी वहाँ पे परेटो ऑप्टिमालिटी भी थी अगर वो दोनों पॉइंट्स को नहीं कर रहे हैं इसका मतलब जो कंडीशन मैंने इक्विलिब्रियम की यूज करी विच इज एम आर एस इजल टू पी वन बाई पी टू विच आई जस्ट डिड समाइम बैक विच इज द राइट कंडीशन टू यूज दैट कंडीशन इज नॉट गिविंग रिजल्ट टू परेटो ऑप्टिमालिटी क्योंकि परेटो ऑप्टिमालिटी का और मार्केट इक्विलिब्रियम का पॉइंट जो है वो अलग अलग है दैट इज दी ऑब्जेक्टिव अभी हमने ये प्रूव नहीं किया है आई वॉन्ट टेक अ ब्रेथ हेयर एंड एक्सप्लेन समथिंग वेरी केयरफुली यू सी इन पब्लिक ईको इट इज वेरी ईजी टू गेट कन्फ्यूज इट इज ईजी टू गेट कन्फ्यूज बिकॉज यू डोंट थिंक ग्लोबल हमें माइक्रो ने इतना सिखा दिया होता है हर एक चीज के अंदर 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 घुसना कि हम लोग उसको ओवरऑल व्यू से देख नहीं पाते इन पब्लिक ईको यू नीड टू टेक अ स्टेप बैक एंड लुक एट द होल पिक्चर so we are actually trying to achieve the end result and whatever else we are doing right now is all, is all in pieces 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 so you need to understand overall each piece separately but then the more important thing is how those pieces fit together all right so what we did some time back what we did right now was proving the condition of market equilibrium now we are finding out pareto optimality then we will say if they coincide then market equilibrium is pareto efficient if they don't coincide then market equilibrium is not pareto efficient that is our objective all right so for pareto optimality we are saying maximize u1 plus u2 which is my this entire function subject to the box condition now if you recall your sem 4 what is pareto optimality jahan pe dono ki collective utility sabse highest ho ua plus ub right if there was a way for me to increase utility of either one or both the individuals then the point that i started with was not pareto optimal so the pareto optimal point is where ua plus ub is maximized right let's solve this so when we solve this let's suppose we firstly take del capital u with respect to del z1 what is that going to be u1 dash z1 plus b2 dash z1 right similarly del u uh, sorry i'm not done so v2 z dash 1 and here this is 0 this is 0 and then you have z1 is right here which is minus 1 is equal to 0 and the second you have is del u by del z2 which is also nothing but u2 dash z2 plus v1 dash v1 dash z2 minus 1 is equal to 0 so when you rewrite these equations you get these two equation so all i've done is taken this minus 1 to the other side taken this minus 1 to the other side and i get this and this equation so these are the equations of yeah pareto optimality of course these are the equations of pareto optimality and as you can see these equations and the equations that we did some time back are not the same so just to recall what were the equations we did some time back so the equations we did some time back was u1 dash z1 was equal to 1 and u2 dash z2 was equal to 1 see this is the point which is most important right here let's compare 
ये वाला जो मेरी इक्वेशन है इससे मेरे पास आई पडेटो ऑप्टीमैलिटी और ये वाली जो मेरी कंडीशन है इससे क्या आई इससे आया मार्केट इक्विलिब्रियम इस कंडीशन में और इस कंडीशन में इस एक टर्म का फर्क है द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द टू कंडीशन इज दिस दिस टर्म विच डिफर्स दिस पर्टिकुलर रेड टर्म विच डिफर्स नाउ वट इज दिस टर्म सिग्निफाई सो वट इज दिस टर्म सिग्निफाई सो आई एम नॉट डूइंग दिस बिकॉज दिस इवेंचुअली विज इज सेम एज दिस सो ये और ये टर्म सेम है सो ये वाली टर्म का फर्क है विच मीन्स कि अगर हमारी एक्सटर्नैलिटी जो है वो पॉजिटिव है अगर हमारी एक्सटर्नैलिटी पॉजिटिव है देन दिस वन दिस टर्म दिस टर्म विल बी पॉजिटिव सो यू आर सेंग लेट्स कॉल दिस यू वन डैश जेड वन लेट्स कॉल दिस यू वन डैश जेड वन लेट्स ए एक्स सो यू आर सेंग एक्स प्लस समथिंग इज इक्वल टू वन and you're saying x is equal to 1 so which means this x which has to be much smaller than this x which means this x has to be much smaller than this x right so let me call this x as the x of pareto optimality this x as the x of equilibrium which means the x in pareto optimality is much lesser than the x in equilibrium than the x in equilibrium which means that right so my this x xp is much smaller than xc which only implies that u1 dash z1 in pareto is much lesser than u1 dash z1 in equilibrium this will only happen if the z1 in pareto is greater than z1 in equilibrium which means what which means that in equilibrium i'm always consuming in equilibrium i'm always in a private equilibrium i'm always consuming lesser than what i should be consuming which means that in in equilibrium why in an equilibrium because equilibrium is always private i'm always consuming lesser than the pareto optimal and we all we know from past papers that pareto optimality only happens एट सोशल क्वान्टिटी सो इसका मतलब मैं सोशल क्वान्टिटी पर हमेशा ज़्यादा कंज्यूम करूँगी एज कम्पेयर टू द प्राइवेट क्वान्टिटी इफ माई एक्सटर्नैलिटी इज पॉजिटिव नो इक्वेशन वाइज दिस शुड हैव मेड सेंस इफ इट हैजन मेड सेंस इन द फर्स्ट गो जस्ट वॉच द वीडियो अ कपल ऑफ टाइम्स इट विल मेक सेंस इफ दिस एक्स इज कन्फ्यूजिंग यू बिकॉज यू हैव एक्स हियर ऑल्सो देन इंस्टेड ऑफ टेक इट एक्स यू कैन टेक एनीथिंग लाइक आर or anything you it's just a variable just a symbol it doesn't matter what you take the point we are trying to make is that agar ye positive hai to ye ye kam hoga is isse aur agar ye kam hai to ye jo z hai kyunki hamare paas diminishing marginal utility hai wo iske andar isse zyada hoga agar pareto optimality mein wo zyada hai to social mein jo quantity hum consume karenge wo zyada hogi as compared to private right we want to prove this by the way of a diagram we have a normal mc we have a private marginal benefit so if my externality is positive then my social marginal benefit is outside which means my private marginal benefit is giving me this kind of a quantity but my social quantity is much higher which is something that we proved in the proved in the previous example but if my externality is negative then the social quantity is lesser than what it should be so we have proven two points one externality leads to inefficiency एक्सटर्नैलिटी लीड्स टू इन एफिशेंसी एंड टू अगर हमारे पास पॉजिटिव एक्सटर्नैलिटी है देन द सोशल क्वान्टिटी इज ऑलवेज मच हायर देन प्राइवेट क्वान्टिटी एंड वाई से वर्सा सो दिस इज योर वन सेट ऑफ द एक्सटर्नैलिटी दैट वी हैव डन इन द सेकेंड सेट ऑफ द एक्सटर्नैलिटी वी गोइंग टू डू अंडर हेन रिक्स वी गोइंग टू बी सारिंग अ वेराइटी ऑफ डिफरेंट एग्जाम्पल्स टू प्रूव आर एक्सटर्नैलिटीज थैंक यू